I have been involved in agriculture since I was eight years old. That involved learning how to muster sheep at a very early age. And I then moved into cut flowers in my later life and the journey then ended up being in propagation of ornamental plants with one of the biggest retailers in Australia. As a result of being allergic to potting mix spores, I then moved into sterile production of plants, propagating in a laboratory situation and supplying plants to agribusiness sector. Our laboratory chops up plants for a living. We are really, really excited to take people's material that actually comes in probably 20 buds. We're talking a stick that's not very long. And we place it in test tubes with agar-based or seaweed-based gelling medias. Once we are successful with that, we then take those plants and we multiply them under high intense LED lights and the right heat, the right temperature and humidity. And then we move them through until we've hand them over to my husband, Tim, who takes them out of that little embryonic world and puts roots on them and we give them to the farmers. One of the problems into the future is the supply of seaweed based gel medias. There is huge competition from cosmetics, from food industries, and also on top of that, we have different climate changes happening and warming the currents around the world. This is changing what kelp is available. My project is looking at what is called a temporary immersion system. It's an advanced bioreactor that is being flooded with a nutrient solution that does not contain agar. The project was to investigate a number of different immersion methods. We were looking at experimenting how we could utilise this to assist the apple industry in rapidly producing their apple rootstocks to recuperate from the bushfire ravaged areas in Batlow, Bilpin and the Adelaide Hills. We were given 50 pieces of apple material in August last year and the challenge was to try and get to 100,000 apples by the end of this year. We are well on target using the project to actually achieve that number. What it has done has absolutely revolutionised how the apple industry see how they produce their products. So traditionally, they would grow rootstocks in the ground, and this has happened for 130 years, and they would then bud their products onto those rootstocks. They're now saying, so we can actually get a supply from you using tissue culture, and we can actually cut out some of the land that we put aside for rootstock production, and we can now grow our products. And the results that's happened from this also is what would have taken eight years for those orchards to recuperate, this project and our business has been able to fast forward that to where they will have fruit producing trees within four years. I'm really excited to be at the forefront of what I would call disruptive technology. This technology is changing how plants are propagated in the horticulture agriculture sector. It's also really exciting to be able to be teaching and encouraging young people that there is scientific development and innovation that is very attractive in our sector.